What up, what up, y'all? What up? Who on live tonight? Who on live tonight? What up, y'all? Checking in. It's a quick check-in on live. Christian, what up? Just doing this quick live on the way to the crib. Figured I'd stop in and say a few encouraging words. Been a long day. It's one of them days. It's Monday, but y'all know what it is. What up? Who on live tonight? Definitely one of them long days. It's Monday. We back from the weekend, so everybody's still at it. I hope still early. It's about eight o'clock, just before eight o'clock. So I know all my movers out there doing their thing. Who's that? It's my, my man Los. Just jumped in. Yeah. See people jumping in this live real quick. Yeah, guys, y'all know how we do it. When I'm on my way home, I like to, you know, spread a little love, have a little motivation. Let's tell a friend to tell a um to tell a friend. We get this Monday night motivation going. All my movers out there, if you still working, you still putting in them hours, please jump on this live. Share it with your friends. Is it for, is it, this this what we doing? This is for all the power move makers out there. If you made some crazy moves today, if you put in a check, if you did something that you've been working all week to do, this is where you need to be. We need to tell our stories. We need to build each other up. Like this is what I do on Monday. Every Monday I'm jumping on. I don't care how many people's in here. We gonna build each other up and we gonna encourage each other for the rest of the week. Like, this is where I want y'all to tell all your friends, anybody out there making moves, this is what we're going to do Monday nights. This is the Power Move Maker Hour right here. That's it. We're going to call it Power Move Maker Minute. I'm sorry, because we're going to do it quick. But definitely for all my movers out there, I feel y'all. Like I said, I'm on my way back home. And, you know, I just want to spread love. And I want to just, just encourage everybody. This is the top of the week. We got the, like, like it's Thanksgiving this week and I don't want nobody looking at that like, okay, I could take the week off. No, you get Thursday off and we back to work on Friday. We are definitely making moves over here. This is for all my movers, movers, where you at? If you know anybody who's a mover, please tell them to jump on this live. We gonna encourage each other. We gonna build a community to where we can eat, speak to one another, and encourage one another to keep keep getting out there, keep doing better day by day. I don't care what happened yesterday. Yesterday's yesterday. Today's a new day. And it's crazy because something happened to me this weekend, like real talk. Something happened to me this weekend, and I'm sure all y'all can relate to it, but it got me thinking about just the, the, the bigger picture of life. Like for real, like it just got me thinking about life just in general. I was walking past this house and y'all know because we all come from the same hood. We all come from the same environment. And it's always this dog who's chained up. But every single time you walk by, it's like this dog never get tired of chasing you down. But he got the big chain on his neck and he just, just coming after you with full force, knowing he can't get you. But still, that energy is there because he's just being what he is. He's a wild animal. And I almost got bit by this dog this weekend. And I jumped back. But this dog, when I started thinking, I'm like, yo, this dog is doing what he's doing. Like, and granted, there's dogs out there who's lap dogs. There's dogs out there who you can pet them. And every time you see them, they happy to see you. But truth of the matter is... It's always those dogs out there that just remind you they are wild animals. And it got me back to thinking about my days are coming up. And this message is for anybody who needs validation. Like, don't let nobody tell you because you different, because you don't march to the beat of the same drum that they march to, that you're the problem. No, be you. Be you. I don't care who you are, where you are. 
be you, have all of that energy and aggression that you bring to the table, they're the ones who's different. They're the ones who need to change up the program or accept you for who you are. And I was thinking about my early days and, it, you know, I speak and y'all know I speak a lot about my bad boy days because though that was the day when I went into that label. Right. And I tell y'all this all the time. I interned at four different labels before bad boy, but bad boy was my fifth label. But when I walked into bad boy, it was something different. And, 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 and when I was like really sitting and I was thinking about it. It's because bad boy allowed me to be me. They validated who I was like, you know, and sometimes you got to really thank God. You got to just thank them because had I got them other jobs at them other labels. And I remember before when I was working all of these different jobs, they would, they, they tried to make me buy into conformity. Like, oh, you can only work in this department. This is what you do. Okay, that's all you're supposed to do. Thank God you even got a job. And I'm looking at them like, no, and to me, I had all this pent up aggression. I had all of these dreams that was so big that they couldn't see it. And for them, they are trying to put me into a bottle. They trying to just like, like Sean, no, do what you're supposed to do. Don't get outside of the confines of your job description, put in your eight hours and go home. And for me, I would sit there and I would think to myself, maybe something is wrong with me. But truth of the matter is, it wasn't until I got to bad boy that I was unleashed. And, and that's what it really comes down to. And I don't care where you are, what part of the journey you're at. If you feel like what you're doing, people just don't understand you. They don't understand that savage nature of who you are. It is time for you to find a new set of friends. It is time for you to find a new employer. It is time for you to go the way I went to bad boy and I was just unleashed. You got to go somewhere and be unleashed. You got to take, just like when I was walking past that dog, this, that dog wasn't doing nothing but being a dog. He wasn't doing nothing but being a wild animal, a savage. That's is what he does. He bites. He, he growls. He lets you know, this is my territory. You're not coming over here. Just because that dog ain't like all the mother house broken dogs don't mean he ain't a dog. He ain't like naturally. That is what he does. And for all of you movers out there, for all of y'all who are about getting ahead in life, making money, making things happen. When you get around people who try to housebreak you and, and they want you to work nine to five and be thankful for that. And they want you to, you know, conform like this. is. I, I remember people telling me, Sean, you, like, like, be happy you got a job do these 20 years and retire. Like that didn't even make sense to me, but it wasn't until I got around an environment of young men and young women who were like, like set, they, they would like let this animal out of his cage. I remember Puff and in, in Puff, his whole thing was do what you got to do and apologize in the morning. And that's all I needed to hear. My man, Har Pierre, I don't care what the obstacle was in front of you. I don't care what it was, the challenge. He would look you in the face and tell you, make it happen. There are no excuses. And that, that was the energy I needed to just be validated. And I'm telling y'all, I don't know what y'all are doing out there. I don't know what you're going through. But if you feel like somebody is putting a muzzle on you, somebody is not allowing you to just be you like that inner beast in you, they don't understand it they can't get with it get away from them you're not they're not um you're not the problem they're the problem and i can tell you until you get around people and get in an environment that that allows you to just be you you are always gonna feel like you are not living your whole and complete self you are not gonna feel like yo you you can never find your stride you can never find your purpose in a place like that. So I'm telling you, change your friends. I don't care if it's your parents. I don't care if it's people you grew up with. I don't care if it's if, if it's a, a full-time job and right now they paying you bills, start looking for another job. I know we in COVID, put your resume out there or create your own, but don't let anybody define you. Like it sickens me. And, and I'm telling you, it sickens me to, to no end when people talk about, I need my weekends off or, or I can't work past five o'clock. Okay. 
Go do that somewhere else. But over here, we're in beast mode. Like, like, like I said earlier, that dog wasn't being nothing but what he is. And for me, I'm not trying to be anything but what I am. And I want to attract people just like me. So if you are in a situation right now and you feel like, yo, I did like they, 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 they got me held hostage here. I feel like I got shackles on me. I'm saying break free and it's time to get unleashed. Anybody, I see everybody like, like in the comments real quick, mm -hmm. all kind of people is waving at me and all of that. If y'all feeling this message, please. Like, throw them clap signs up, throw them fire signs up, because we are one in the same. Trust me, I feel your energy, and I hope you feel my energy. All right, that was just my quick message for the day. It's just a, a power move minute for you guys, and I'm going to check y'all all on Wednesday. Let's continue to build each other up. Peace and love, y'all. And I guess I'll catch y'all on Wednesday night. Keep making power moves, y'all. One.